Hi, welcome to Takasa Yarn Knitting Videos. Today I'm, today I'm going to show you how to knit really easy ruffle scarves. This is a ruffle scarf that is basically um, consisting of three strands of ruffles. So it looks like this. It has three strands of ruffles hanging off of a ring. And to wear that, you just have to drape the scarf over your neck, pull all three strands of ruffles through the ring, And there you have it. So that's one version of a ruffle scarf. Then I have this one as well. This is a different yarn, but the knitting concept is exactly the same. Again, you just pull the ruffles through the ring, and there's your other scarf. So I'll be right back, and I'll show you how to start knitting these scarves. Hello. So to do the ruffle scarves, you're going to need a ring. I have two different colors here, but you can use whatever color you ha you can find. Um, and you need the ruffle scarf yarn as well as a size five millimeter knitting needles. Um, you can use up to about five and a half, so between a five, five and a quarter, and five and a half. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the yarn and you want to leave a long enough tail so that you can finish wrapping the the ring with your yarn. So I've gone ahead and started wrapping. The ring. I'm just going to keep wrapping. So you come to an end. This yarn is ending. This is the yarn that this is the piece that you're going to work with that comes from the ball of the yarn. And you're just going to, in this case, I'm using a multicolor uh, yarn. So you want to make sure that both the colors match up on the top. So you're going to hold the two pieces of yarn together, one from the ball and one from the one that you've finished wrapping with. This is a, uh, my interchangeable needles. Basically, I can change the length of the cords. In this case, um, I'm only needing three stitches, so I'm, I'm not going to need the cord, so I'm just going to remove the cord from the needle altogether. That's what's so great about the interchangeable needles. And I'm just going to use the needle tip. And from there, you're going to pick up so you, you want to hold the two pieces of yarn tightly together so that you can start picking up the stitches. You pick up from the very top of the yarn there, right next to the ring, so that it's nice and snugly. Leave about an inch and a half away from the needle. You're going to pick up, basically go to the top of the yarn and pick any hole and just go in and pick up your second stitch. And you do the same for your third stitch. So you have three stitches on your needle right now and you're just going to knit like you normally would. At the very tip of the yarn, you're going to leave about an inch and a half apart and just go in any hole and knit that through. Again, that's your second stitch. Leave about an inch and a half from away from the needle. And you have now three knitted stitches, one, two, three, but you're going to cast two off. So you're going to pick two stitches off at the same time and just cast it off over that knitted stitch. So now you have one stitch left. You're going to pick up two stitches. You're always going to have to, have to you're always going to need three stitches to knit with. So now you need to pick up two more stitches, again, right on the tip of the yarn. And you're going to flip it over and knit as you normally would. Two. And once again, you're going to cast two off at the same time. Now you have one stitch and the ruffle is starting to form. And again, you'll pick up two stitches and you repeat this process until basically you get the length of the of the the ruffles that you want so you you would get something that looks like this so you just keep going until you reach the length that uh, that you want so that's one strand now you need three strands at least three strands or if you want a fuller scarf you would probably do four strands it's up to you so to basically put on another strand you would do the same thing so now 
you have one strand going. So to add another strand, you don't have to wrap the ring anymore because it's already wrapped, but you do have to join the yarn. So you just pick, just take the ends and just join them up like you did earlier. So basically you take the ends and you fold it over. And you slide that down and again you take your needle. Sorry, you would like you would want to put a knot at the beginning of this yarn there so that uh, it doesn't fray on you. And again, you would pick up your three stitches like you did before. One, two. If that strand doesn't allow you to pick up the third stitch, just go ahead and continue picking up from the other strand. So you pick up the three and you flip it over. So once again, you have knitted three stitches. You're going to cast that off. And you do the same thing. So you continue again, pick up two, knit three, cast off two, pick up two, knit three, cast off two. You continue that until you have the number of strands that you that you would like for your scarf. And that would be the end of your scarf. So this is what your finished scarf should look like. You've got your three strands and a ring. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please visit us at www.tacasa.com to order the scarf yarn and there will be colors on there that you can choose from as well. Thank you for watching.